Hello, XSHR on the Sage Channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of a different type of building structure. So, so far, I've shown you guys some of the basic construction of stone and how it falls apart, and the blocks within blocks, well, they also have these beautiful slanted roofs that you can put on all your buildings. So, it doesn't just have to be big square castles with a few curves here and there. You can actually go ahead and have a lot of sloped roofs, and they have three different types of roofs. These sort of slatish ones here with the uh, brick, I believe they're actually called tiled roofs. And then we have the wooden roofs here, which are probably my favorite, just the idea that they have these simple wooden slits. Even though these are pretty nice, they sort of remind me of Roman stuff. And then carrying on down here, uh, actually no, where did it go? I Right, they're a bit finicky right now, they have these hay roofs. And you can see this one is a little bit broken here. They're the least one, they're the ones I've used the least because they're currently they're a bit glitchy. Remember, pre-alpha stuff is going to be glitchy, so that's why I don't have a build, bunch of buildings with these currently. But you can see they're pretty simple. Now, how do these work before I just show you around the buildings? Well, if I fly over here, we have one that looks like this, and it looks pretty simple. You can see how it's, it's a nice little piece, but a lot of sharp edges. Wait a minute, I don't remember seeing sharp edges on all these. They sort of have these outcroppings. That's because, and if I aim here and then press Alt to place it block inside block and click, you can see it sort of puts a nice little edge around the whole thing, building it out. And this stuff is actually pretty smart, so if I was to go ahead and put another one on the other side, you see the obvious gap there that's going to be happening at the top there between the two of them. I place it in, it fills the gap in, and now we have this nice little bump at the top that sort of just, it, well, pretty much perfectly fits the top of it. It's really nice the way these things deform. We also have this type here, which is a corner piece, so I can go ahead and put that in there. And you can see it does also fill it down a little bit more, and it goes up to this nice little fork here and of course if i was to go ahead and put other pieces in it'll conjoin to them and sort of form nice corners and stuff like that this one here is the adverse corner like this or reverse corner of the one we just put in and you can see you press alt put it fits it in there pretty well place it and it bumps out the sides right now there's a little bit of an issue where you can select those sides but don't worry i'm pretty sure that'll get sorted out in the future and then moving on we have one last type that is currently available for me to show and that's this little one here which seems pretty simple you place that in it doesn't show extending down as far as the others i'm not quite sure why i suspect it might but one of the reasons why it might not is because it's actually mainly designed for a top piece so if i was to go ahead and let's just go ahead and put two more of these in here so alt to place it in there and then i'm holding control to do the drag thing and then we're also going to go ahead and really quickly just make sure we have some more supports here because we don't want our buildings collapsing on us Remember, you have to actually build with all that in mind. Uh, and in fact, we probably don't want to put our, that there. We want it to come out one more. So there we go. And then we want it to go over. So there we go. And come on all the way over to, let's say here. And let's replace this with a proper solid block. And now we can go ahead and build the same thing with the roof there. And I can show you what I was talking about without that one beam. Now it might be a bit finicky now as it might come crashing down. By the way, I have my UI off because the UI is still placeholder last time I checked, or at least partially placeholder, so the devs had asked me not to show it, so I'm just going off of that right now. Anyway, let's go ahead, put two more roof pieces right there, and now you can see we have this big opening here. Now, on some of these buildings over here, you'll see I have these big flat surfaces on the top where I've just filled in these gaps, and I've actually shown them out before where I did that. And what I did for that was pretty dang simple. I just simply took, I believe it was, let me find it really quick, this right here, the simple floor panel, and I just put it up like that and dragged across. But if I don't want to do that, what I can do is take the one we were looking at that we used right there and place it just like, oops, that wasn't the right click, just like this. And there you go, now we have a damn nice little arched ceiling. Of course, at the very end here, we have this little gap, but they do have a piece, and you see these are black right now. Don't worry, full version, they are actually be fixed, but you can see I can even place them when they have a texture on them, and you can even fill in those gaps like that. So that's how I have some buildings like, well, this one I have a gap at the ceiling because I just decided to have a little crawl space, but some of the other ones that are three wide do not have such a gap. I believe this is one of them. If I can just fly through here, yes, this is one of them. There. Nope, <laughs> it was one of those. There we go, straight ahead. There's one that doesn't have a gap because I've used that to fill it in. Again, pre-alpha, that's why you see some weird stuff like this cutaway here. A lot of this will be fixed in the future. This is also another experiment I was doing right over here to sort of, I've seen buildings like this in the real world, but not frequently. So I decided to just see how it would look if you did have a building where the roof came all the way down to the very bottom. And I actually kind of like the look of it, very strange. I can imagine myself building some similar things to that. Of course, we have our more bog standard houses here is this one. 
nice little rooms in there. And then I stuck a big tower at the end of it, just the sort of the idea that you would have a tower that you would get into from the house itself. They do have this really spiky roof here. I've seen uh, some other little glimpses of blocks and stuff in the past that might have a higher slant to it. So you could have a roof corner like this and then have a slanted roof that is that steep carrying on. But those currently aren't in the build of the game. I don't know if they're coming, but I suspect they will be. Uh, what else do we have here? This building here was me experimenting with having one roof that's really low to the ground and then another roof that's actually quite higher. And they both meet at the same peak. And then I also wanted to experiment with just a cut away here with a sticking out just a little bit more. Also, I have this one here, which is similar to that one, except for on this side, the roof is all one big panel, but it drops down halfway instead of meeting at the peak and then carries down. Some fairly interesting things can build. And you can see here, we had a little bit of an issue here. I accidentally deleted a few blocks in here, I think, but you can see I had these big supports in here to hold this outcropping that I had sticking out. Moving on from that, we got a few more simple little houses in here. The interiors of some of these houses have different rooms in them cut away. It's really nice because the blocks inside blocks, you can actually segregate rooms differently if you like, and actually put in nice thin hallways without ha having to use those big hefty blocks like you do in Space Engineers. It's pretty cool stuff. And of course, as I've said, all of this deforms and shatters and breaks apart. So we've gone from basically showing you how these roofs work and looked around some of this town. Remember the hay roofs or whatever these are right now, they're a bit finicky right now, so I don't have too much to show on that. Mainly just the wood and whatever these were called, slate ones that work pretty well. Tile, there we go, that's the word I was looking for. This one I thought was pretty cool because actually on the inside, it just couldn't support itself if I just had this outer wall, this roof, and then another thing bumping up, it would just fall straight down. So I actually had to go ahead and build up a wall inside of here, as you can see. It's pretty cool stuff that I actually have to worry about that. It sort of means there's a lot of wasted space with that hallway going around the exterior edge there, but let's be honest, that's not the game's fault. That's my fault, not designing something a bit better before actually building the second floor. Also, this is just a curved in area here, sort of going for a Coliseum-ish look, but it's more of just to test out the inner curve there of these roof pieces. It's all pretty damn cool. And then I just have some simple strange structures over here that I was just sticking together for the heck of it. Pretty nice stuff. So really, really cool what you can do with all these roofs. And I can't wait till they get a bit more stable. The whole game gets to an amazing point and we can have castles with bits of roof stuck into, you know, those sort of living areas with the big towers out the sides. Also, this was an experimentation of having a house partially buried here. And so if we were to go ahead and walk inside here, you can see that this part of the building, there's no windows or anything because it's all completely underground. It's pretty cool stuff. And then you can see I have little roof supports in here to make sure the roof is actually supported. Otherwise, some of this would just come crashing down without having proper support. It's pretty damn cool stuff. Anyways, that's that. I suspect you now want to see me smash up a few of these, so I'll launch a few little projectiles at them. Anyway, guys, that's that for this. It's a pretty cool thing. I cannot wait till everyone can get their hands on it and experiment around themselves. It's uh, pretty dang impressive. Some of these roofs, they're a bit finicky, so I'm not gonna shoot too much at these, but you can see, it's a pretty damn impressive thing, even for a pre-alpha. And remember, it's coming to Steam Early Access on February 19th, so you'll be able to get your hands on it then, and go ahead and have a play about yourself, and you can bet money it'll be a lot more, well, finished than it is now, but it'll still be alpha, and it, you'll still see things changing and updating every now and again, probably quite frequently, given how quickly the devs have updated Space Engineers and are still continuing to update Space Engineers. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks you a bunch for watching. I hope you it was informative and entertaining, and I shall see you guys next time. As soon as I get rid of some of these supports on the other side so the whole top comes crashing. Come on, come on. Maybe that little one right there. Oh, I saw everything shake. I saw smoke. Oh, 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 there we go. Got it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.